time for a big game breakdown. As always, live odds, sportsbookreview.com. Tonight, 6 o'clock Pacific ESPN, Louisville, North Carolina. Huge matchup in the ACC. Carolina 6, 153 the total, number 7 against number 8 in the country. Sports bit viewers know that we're, we're talking about a big game for Carolina. Offensive rebounding's the key. Louisville can get stops, but what about rebounds after them? Matt Diang and Louisville defense among the best in the nation. Overall fifth, block shot seventh, effective field goal percentage ninth, although 341 in times used off the shot clock by opponents, Teddy. Patino still not happy with it. Yeah, and that's the incredible thing about this Louisville defense, all right? You rank number five overall. You rank seventh in block shots, ninth in field goals. You're holding teams among the bottom ten in the country in terms of how much time it takes them to get a shot off against you. And some of that has to do with the number of turnovers uh, they force. But those defensive numbers, still not what Rick Pitino wants to see. Quote, I've been telling you guys all along, and you keep looking at the stats and think, oh, our coach is wrong. He just keeps geeking us up. But no, we are not a good defensive team. We have to become that. And if you're looking for stats, well, there's one that stands out. They foul too much. They've been whistled for 519 fouls this season. Opponents getting close to 22 free throw attempts per game. And then you get the rest of the Pacino quote. Quote, you got to play good help defense. And we get beat a lot on straight line drives. It's the whole team. It's something we worked very, very hard on helping. And we're getting better at it. But not good enough for Pacino. Uh, certainly when it comes to to those fouls thus far. Well, if they get a miss, can they clear the boards? In North Carolina, offensive rebounds, number one. Louisville, defensive rebounds, 141. But can, can Carolina also get in a flow against this Louisville defense? UNC averages a shot every 15.1 seconds. That's 12th in the country. Louisville gives up one every 18.5. Although the Tar Heels do move the ball while they pass it, nine players have at least 30 assists, Teddy. Yeah, and really, my North Carolina handicap comes down to one factor, one factor only. Does the opponent clean the offensive glass? Or the defensive glass, I should say. Because when you talk about Kennedy Meeks, we're, and a guy who gets no love and no pub, he is a special player. He has close to 1,000, over 900 career rebounds, close to 1,000. 255 this season, 101 of those on the offensive end of the glass. And a great rebounder. The guys get no love. Kennedy makes it a difference maker for Carolina. And if you can't bang with him in the paint, those second chance opportunities will kill you. It's what the Tar Heels have done all year. And it's what they're going to need to do tonight. They're going to get past the Cardinals. Yeah, Carolina's going to win the ACC with a win, uh, likely, right, likely. Uh, well, the winner's in great position to win the ACC. Louisville's been scoring, though, Teddy. I like it over. Yeah, I wouldn't talk you out of an over, <laughs> you know. Uh, Patino saying his defense isn't right. North Carolina wants to run and gun. Louisville can create the easy, fast-break buckets. All of those factors certainly point in that direction. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com.